So, guess what I'll be going over today? <laughs> yes, I am outside because I mean, look at this weather. It's so nice. Why? Because it's summer. So, today I'll be going over the top summer dating tips and advice to make dating successful for you during this season. Now, why summer dating? Right? Why am I going over that? Because it's literally, yes, the hottest time of the year, but also it's the hottest time to date. Because of the weather already, it puts most of us in a really positive, hopeful, outgoing mood. So it's more easier and natural for singles to be out during this time to meet new people to go to new events people are just so much more willing to be outside because who doesn't want to be outside during this time so with that said this is why this is the most most crucial and important time to date to date online dating offline dating whichever it is but how do you actually make sure you make use of this season which technically is really only 3 months June July and August sometimes it goes into September but those are the three kind of hot months to date so i really wanted to go over the main focuses you should have during this time to make sure all your efforts are working and to make sure that you're really putting yourself out there to meet great women and as many women as you can so here are the four basically steps and focuses for summer dating success. Number 1, work on yourself. Work on yourself and continuously to do so, right? Because when you are at your best self, you attract well the best kind of person for you. So build your self-esteem, work out, uh get that haircut, take new photos, build that confidence, do activities that you love. get outside hang out with the people you love do things that are so fulfilling to you because yes the weather is nice and that already adds to your mood but when you're already doing these activities that also make you so much more confident and and feeling fulfilled you will have the best energy to meet the right woman this also means to cut out people that don't add value into your life so Overall, please don't forget to just work on yourself and continuously to do so. It really, really makes a difference. Number two, create a plan of effort. Right? Whenever you go out, whatever you're doing, recognize that that is an opportunity to meet ladies. Plan for events. Schedule it in your calendar. Look at summer events, guys. This is the most popular time for events to happen wherever you are. There are so many summer events happening. And if you don't know where it is in your city, go to eventbrite.com, meetup.com, literally search on Google your city and then summer events. And many times the events are free. Right? Like I said, people in general, and especially single people, are out and about and exploring. So this is your time to put in the effort to do these summer events and to where recognize that wherever you go that is an opportunity to engage with somebody else. All right, so plan and make an effort. This also includes obviously online dating. Be more active. Single women and men are more active during this time because they want to find someone else uh or a companion to go to these summer events with. So, make an effort. Number 3, focus on your dating goals. Be intentional. with dating. Don't just go out to these events uh, or on these dating apps and just say, "Well, we'll see where it goes." No. Have intent. When you go out to these events, sure, enjoy the event yourself, explore, but also recognize I'm here to connect with people. I'm at this meetup event to connect with new people and new strangers I've never met before. Right? And it could be a new friend. Cuz hey, when you meet a new friend, that person has their own network. that maybe you can find your partner through them right have intent when you go out on dates what is the intent to connect with this person to get to know her more and see if there's something there right be more intentional in dating and what your goals are if it's internal once again have intent in why you're doing it 
I am doing this for myself so I can grow my confidence in dating, so I can learn how to converse with others more, right? So focus on your dating goals. That's number three. And number four, probably the most important one, do something different. It could be the new events I just mentioned, the new summer events you might go to that you've never been to before. Uh, new strategies that you are, maybe you're watching this right now, so you're learning a new strategy, hopefully, but, or my YouTube videos, but yeah, learning new strategies, learning different methods, new methods for you to date, new ways to converse, new ways to style yourself, to feel good, right? Do something different because only if you do something different, you'll get a different result. So when you're looking at everything that you're doing this summer, look at your next months. Ask yourself, how am I spending this? Please, please don't have majority of the time to be spending that inside doing your routine and what you normally do. You do that basically for like the rest of the year, <laughs> especially when it gets very, very cold. We're already staying inside. So this is the time to look at your calendar and think about it. Think about what am I going to do? Do I know what I'm doing? And if you don't know what you're doing, this is why I'm here, right? Seek, seek new feedback, seek new guidance, seek new support. I've always told my clients, this is the biggest time to try to do things differently, better, or right. And that is that. So if you follow those four steps, those four summer dating focuses, summer dating tips, I guess you would call it, you will have a great summer, All right? Get out there, guys. Enjoy the weather. Have a nice tan. Uh, and hopefully, You'll gain a lot new more new connections in these next months. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy.